The Art Gallery of Ontario went through a major renovation in 2008, led by the famous Canadian architect Frank Gehry. The north and south facade was completely reconstructed. The north facade has a span at 600 feet and rises 70 feet above street level. An elegantly designed wood and glass facade facing Dundas Street, it also acts as a sculpture prominent linking a series of galleries within the building. The proportions mimic the neighboring houses on both Beverly and Dundas Street. Although the facade has a massive scale, it feels intimate due to the enclosure of warm Douglas fir wood. It is the largest public project in Canada to use wood structurally, not just decoratively. The wood structure takes an organic shape, mimicking the inside of a whale, majestic yet peaceful. With the corners of the facade lifted up, Frank Gehry has created the notion of the facade fluttering in the wind. Cables for streetcars are attached directly to the facade, removing the street poles, and links the facade directly to the flow of the city. On the south side of AGO, Gary has created a titanium and glass structure that overlooks Grange Park. The back staircase, a sculpture in itself, intertwines with the facade. The south facade has a less intimate view but a grander scale and is much more regal and vibrant compared to the north. It connects the museum to the city, empathizing on the fact that it is located in the heart of downtown, creating a dialogue with the neighboring buildings. A drastically different facade from the AGO, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame is designed by architect I.M. Pei. The building is a composition of clashing geometric shapes and volumes. The steel and glass facade was designed to express the dynamic of rock and roll, the freedom and power it could express. However, the clashing geometric shapes seems to be overly in conflict with little harmony in between. By overly empathizing the dynamic vibrance of the facade, the relationship of the building with its surrounding environment is lost. 